द क्वेश्चन सेज ब्लू विट्रियोल हैज आयनिक बंड को आर्डिनेट बंड एंड हाइड्रोजन बंड वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई द टाइप ऑफ बंड ओनली वेन वी नो द केमिकल फार्मूला ओके एंड ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड द केमिकल फार्मूला ऑफ ब्लू विट्रोल इज विट्रियोल कापर सल्फेट इट इज हाइड्रेटेड कापर सल्फेट वी हैव फाइव वाटर मालिक्यूल्स अटैच टू कापर सल्फेट दिस द केमिकल फार्मूला वी हैव नाउ वी कैन ड्रा द स्ट्रक्चर टू आइडेंटिफाई द टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड कीप इन माइंड दिस इज वॉट मेटल एंड दिस इज वॉट पॉली एटोमिक एंड वी कैन ब्रेक इट फ्रॉम हियर सल्फेट एंड ऑलवेज कैरीज माइनस टू चार्ज देन कापर विल बी प्रेजेंट इन प्लस टू चार्ज and if the charge pass to neg2 is there definitely it will be what ionic bond pass to and neg2 is there ionic bond okay so ionic bond is present now this is what we have polyatomic and this is what sulfate ion is there this is single cation is there so we have single element we go for the polyatomic ions in which more than one atoms are present we can draw the structure of sulfate ion okay pay attention carefully sulfur has how many valence electrons Sulfur has how many valence electrons? Six valence electrons are there. In general, how we draw the structure for the sulfate ion? Two negative charge are there. To remove this two negative charge, we attach two hydrogen. To remove two negative charge, two positive charge, we attach. So each hydrogen has one positive charge. So I attach two hydrogen. So if I attach two H plus. So two H plus two minus, it will make what H two H four. We got H two H four. And now, take the central element, make O H pair. How many O H pair are there? We have uh, two O H pairs. Two oxygen left. Attach one oxygen via double bond. Attach one oxygen double bond. Now we remove those two hydrogen. Remove one pass two charge, one neg two charge. Remove one pass two charge, one neg two charge. This is the structure of sulfate ion. This is how we can write. structure of sulfate ion but it can also be drawn like that now pay attention carefully sulfur is there oxygen will carry an negative charge will carry an negative charge it has valence electrons two valence electrons are used in forming one 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 single bond now we have this oxygen this oxygen okay Each oxygen has a six valence electrons. So what happens? This sulfur donates electron pair so that oxygen completes its octet. Here also it donates electron pair. This structure is also correct. In place of double bond, we can use coordinate bond, non-metal, non-metal. This is also a type of a special type of covalent bond in which sharing of electron is taking place from one atom to another atom. Okay, this is also a special type of covalent bond. Double bond is also correct, and this is also correct. Means in polyatomic ion, coordinate bond is present. That is correct. Coordinate bond. We got ionic bond from here. In the polyatomic ion, we got coordinate bond. Here we have the coordinate bond, and next we have hydrogen bonding is there. Okay, we have sulfate ion in which oxygen is present, and we have water molecule. So hydrogen will attach to oxygen. and where were hydrogen attach attaching to hyd hydrogen attaching to oxygen nitrogen fluorine will form hydrogen bonding okay so h plus ion we can get from the water molecule and this h plus ion will attach with oxygen we can see it is attaching with oxygen will form hydrogen bond so you can see ionic bond covalent bond and hydrogen bond all the three bonds are present hence we can say option d is correct very interesting question if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel